I'm very excited to bring you Kate Peck, Maya's latest ambassador, who's going to be walking tonight as well. I know! It's my first time walking as a Maya ambassador, so it's pretty exciting. I've done the show since I was about 16 years old, um, but I've never been out like one to lead the pack up there with Jen and Chris, so it's going to be exciting. She is the leader of the pack, and for those of you who might know her other life, as MTV host yes. and general glamour zone. Uh, you are looking mighty fine. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing Manny Cartel at the moment, and it's so beautiful. Their stuff just gets better and better. It does. It's monochrome, which is really big at the moment, which is black and white, and then it has this beautiful detailing up the top, and the cutouts as well. It's just really so great. much happening with it. Yeah, it's so much happening, but it doesn't look like a fruit salad. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's not too busy. It doesn't visually freak you out. So yeah, I love it. Now, your role is really as a youth ambassador yeah and um, I think you know there's such a lot of focus at the moment on fabulous newness uh, at the Maya stable and spring uh, uh, sorry uh, autumn racing is coming up yes do you have anything that you're seeing tonight that you're excited about wearing to the racing carnival oh well Yojin Bay obviously has some absolutely divine pieces I've worn her before to the races and she's probably my number one favorite and then Aurelia Costarella has some really divine things and Manning Cartel is also you know kind of raising the stakes and um, and producing clothing that you can wear to the races so yeah they'd probably be my top three. Now part of your signature beauty look is your amazing crop of you know white blonde hair. Do you like to wear hats? I do, do actually but I do enjoy I enjoy my hair like I love to kind of make it big and, and do lots of different things with it because people think with short hair you you can't do that much with it but you can um, and then hats do they they look really cute because you don't have a ponytail sticking out the back so it's kind of I don't know it's a bit of a 60s kind of vibe that you can pull off with um, with wearing a hat and then the millinery of course with the with the racing is um, it looks really nice with short hair so I, I always think you look so polished and amazing but with a great twist so oh, thank um, you but you know it is all about your hair and all about nails today I well. know nails I love that. We've got multicolored nails from Napoleon and they've done such a good job. And I've never seen <laughs> anything like this. <laughs> you should. Yeah. You know, I think that nails these days are such a big trend. There's nice so much yeah, so much nail decoration going on. So um, yeah, I think they've nailed it quite literally for um, the Maya Autumn Winter Show. I'm gonna ask you something because I think this is one of the things that people have a fascination about you, is what is your off-duty look? You know, you've been a model, you're on MTV, you've got a, a very kind of cool urban lifestyle. What do you do when you're not doing glamour pause? Well, I probably kind of like the biker chic style because I've got my I've got my motorcycle. I love uh, just a casual leather pant with a just a cool printed t-shirt and I really enjoy chopping off the sleeves of all my t-shirts so yeah just rock that. Because she has like incredible art. Uh, no <laughs> I just I don't know I think it's like the chill rocker thing it just looks really cash but still kind of cool so that's probably what I would go for if I was just strolling down the street to get a spot of lunch or a coffee or something. And if you were going to kind of try a completely different look to Kate Peck's you know signature what would you want to kind of try on as a fantasy outfit? I don't know, maybe I could try and rock like a Dita Von Teese kind of oh. something. You know how she's pin really up. demure, a bit <laughs> pin up. I think that she always looks fantastic and so she wears these divine, beautifully tailored dresses and um, she's very feminine and ladylike but very sexy and and um, just really well put together and there's nothing slouchy or lazy or rock and roll, it's just, it's just beauty. She is very polished but you are uh, absolutely an inspiration I can't wait to see you oh well, thank I'm you but really lovely to speak to you and I know that our readers are going to be tickled pink oh, to speak thank you, to you very much thanks for having thank me you.